if you are looking for some support for current affairs if you are a fresher you are a working professional you are a repeater but you want some support for current affairs then i have a program for you uh, i have given the uh, brochure and also the uh, announcement video link in the description you can watch if you are interested hello all welcome back to current affairs atlas series i'm guna madivanan from offices ias academy in today's video we are going to discuss about the actual topic is insococ but to understand about insococ first you should have a clarity on this dna mm, what is rna what is gene what is genome what is genome sequencing then we will have an idea what is this insococ okay important topic see if you take our body every cell human body every cell will have nucleus inside the nucleus inside the nucleus you will have 23 pairs of chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes that means 46 chromosomes right these chromosomes this 46 chromosomes each chromosome each chromosome is nothing but dna these are nothing but dna condensed dna compressed dna this 46 chromosomes are nothing but 46 dna so in our body every cell every cell has nucleus every cell has nucleus and every nucleus has this 46 dna all our human body or in all our cells in all our, every human body has billions and billions of cells each cell will have nucleus each nucleus will have same 46 chromosomes these 46 chromosomes are nothing but dna now what is this dna like dna inside the cell you also have something called as rna what is that we will understand dna is deoxy ribonucleic acid rna is ribonucleic acid you all would have heard about it first we will see about uh, dna see this dna is a chemical compound dna is a chemical compound which is made up of phosphate sugar and nitrogen which is made up of phosphate sugar and nitrogen this phosphate sugar and nitrogen put together is called as nucleotide which is called as nucleotide dna is a chain of nucleotides dna is a chain of nucleotides so it is a chain right so it is a chain of nucleotides dna is a chemical compound made up of chains of nucleotides one nucleotide will have phosphate sugar and nitrogen connected in a specific manner this nitrogen okay this nitrogen we refer it as nitrogen base we refer it as nitrogen base nitrogen base means that contains nitrogen as well as information carrying molecules as well as information carrying molecules so dna has nitrogen bases that nitrogen bases are nothing but information carrying molecules these nitrogen bases are referred by are referred by names called as adenine thymine guanine cytosine you would have studied about this a t c g molecules adenine thymine guanine cytosine see if you find it little technical uh, very simple dna is made up of chemicals okay put it simply this dna has information carrying molecules this dna has information carrying molecules okay so this information carrying molecules are linked together in the form of chains so for example
right so this is one nucleotide right so these round circles are nothing but nucleotide this entire round circle is what i am drawing it here so these nucleotides will be linked together these nucleotides will be linked together right so this structure which we are referring it as dna this one circle if you want to observe which will contain phosphate which will contain sugar which will contain nitrogen base which will contain nitrogen base that nitrogen base can be either adenine or thymine or guanine or cytosine these atcg is called as information carrying molecules so put it simply dna has information carrying molecules right this information is the blueprint of our life this information is the blueprint of our life so every cell in our body has nucleus that nucleus will have 46 dna 23 pairs of dna or 46 dna and all these dna's will be having informations carrying molecules that information is very very important every cell will have that same set of information imagine dna as a book our, our nucleus has 46 dna's that 46 dna's are nothing but 46 textbooks assume these textbooks contains information that information is the blueprint of our life right now what rna will do sir what rna will do so what is this rna this rna is ribonucleic acid which is also similar to that of dna but <clears throat> this rna is single stranded this RNA is single stranded. It is not double stranded. It is single stranded. Right. So instead of in, in the DNA, you will have information carrying molecules like adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. These are the information carrying molecules which you will find in DNA. In RNA, instead of thymine, you will have something called as uracil. Apart from that, the remaining will be same. It is going to be same adenine, guanine, cytosine. Instead of thymine, in RNA, you will find uracil. Again, you need not remember, just know these terminologies. Some difference between DNA and RNA. DNA is double stranded, RNA is single stranded. RNA is single stranded, DNA is double stranded. In DNA, you will have adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine as the information carrying molecules. In RNA, in RNA, you will instead of thymine, you will find uracil as the information carrying molecule. So in a cell, in a cell, you will have DNA as well as RNA. So inside a cell, you will have you will have DNA as well as RNA. So what DNA and RNA does inside the cell? This DNA will have information carrying molecules and what RNA does, DNA will have information carrying molecules and what RNA does, RNA will read this information and it will instruct, it will instruct the cytoplasm, it will instruct the cytoplasm to 
to produce protein. So DNA is something like a book which contains a lot of information, very, very uh, difficult information. What RNA will do? It will read the information, it will instruct the cell. So instruct the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is a component of the cell. It will instruct the cell to produce protein. So every cell will be producing protein. But depending upon the type of the cell, the protein produced will be different. Muscular cells will produce different protein. Kidney cell will produce different protein. My nerve cell will produce different protein. But remember, every cell will have same 46 chromosomes, that is 46 DNAs. 46 volumes of book will be present in every cell. But each cell will perform different function. Okay, not all the 46 chapters are important for every cell. Maybe my nerve cell will take the first chapter, my kidney cell will take second chapter. Imagine like, like that. What RNA does? It will read the information, it will instruct the cell cytoplasm to produce proteins. Different different cells will produce different different proteins. Right? Now I said DNA is double stranded. Sometimes it can be triple stranded also. Sometimes. RNA I said it is single stranded. Sometimes it can be double stranded also. Sometimes the single stranded RNA can be circular also. Sometimes it can be circular also. Extreme cases. But normally DNA are double stranded. RNA is single stranded. So now you understood this DNA. Now what is gene? 